Hi guys, welcome back to Majestic Notion. Welcome to your two week zodiac forecast. This is going to be for June 17th all the way through July 3rd. So I want to say happy birthday to Geminis and Cancers out there. All right. Um, this is part one, of course. So these are the first six zodiac signs. So it's going to be Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. So remember your hearts, guys. Timestamps are below the video in the description box for each and every sign here in part one. These are 15 minutes or less, unless there's a bigger message. Then, of course, you guys know I'll spend a little more time with you. And I think today I'm using about 15 different decks here. So these are a surprise to you as they are to me. Okay? And um, these are for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. And remember, they are general. Not every sign will be going through this specific scenario here today. So we're going to see what Spirit has for you guys. What is the energy um, hovering over you and what's happening in your physical reality the next couple weeks and just remember that energy is fluid right and time is an illusion so when it comes to divine timing it they are not it is not like human timing so that's why energies could play out later than the next couple weeks or this is you know something happening within these couple weeks so take it how it resonates don't make it fit if it doesn't resonate and energies could be interchangeable, vice versa. All right, so we are going to start with Aries, and I will see you guys on the flip side. All right, Aries, welcome to your two week forecast for June 17th through July 3rd Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter placements. Um, these are general. So it won't resonate for everyone, and energies could be interchangeable. Let's get to it, okay? All right, Aries, so we have new love here. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. We have a dating queen. And manifesting miracles, Archangel Orion, o Orion, excuse me. Thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. So you're manifesting a new connection here, Aries. Very nice, very well. Some of you have a lot of options as well with Dating Queen there, but there is a specific person here. Yeah. You're probably blocked off to anyone else or anyone that, you know, doesn't quite meet your standards. You know, you, you're, you're not looking for anything that, anyone that's trying to hurt you in any way. So definitely you're very selective here with the Seven of Wands. All right. Yeah, because you definitely have been betrayed with the Ten of Swords. All right. Just remember, not everyone is the same. We have the Queen of Wands, that's you, okay, whether you're male or female, or you could also be dealing with a another Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, yeah, Page of Cups, this is a new beginning with someone that um, likes you here, or that you like, so you're definitely blacked off to anyone that you feel would betray you in any way. Um, so I feel like you're using your discernment, um, you're looking good, highly attractive, you're ambitious. Um, I feel that Mars energy is, is very prominent within you at this time also. So you could be feeling confident, fiery, um, and ambitious at this time and very self-protective, you know, because you don't, you don't want to let just anybody in here. And I, I can understand that, exactly. If it's not the Ten of Cups, you don't want it. That's what I see here. Okay. But with manifesting new love, I feel like that's exactly what you're going to get. Alright. You are very protecting your flow, your energy here. Alright. Some of you might need to protect your solar plexus. Um, if you're having any form of digestive problems, definitely drink more water as well. Yeah. 
Uh, I, I would suggest also water vinegar with a touch of lemon. Um, Prince of Cups. Yeah, once again. Someone here is, re is um, getting ready for new love here. Knight of Pentacles. This might have taken this person quite some time here. All right. And again, I do see some options here on the board. Somebody slowly approaching. Yeah, the fool. New beginnings under the Page of Cups. A new beginning in love. All right. Yeah, there, I just had like a little bug fly in my face. I don't know where that came from. Okay, because I've been here for quite some time. So you're going to have somebody that might like irritate you, bug you here. Um, it's somebody that wants to talk to you and, you know, ask you out. But that's not going to be the manifestation. That's not going to be the one. Okay. We have silenced here. They will make you feel at times like your thoughts and opinions don't matter leaving you feeling voiceless in this connection yeah this is one of uh, this is could be the very person I just said would bug you that could be someone you're already blocking out yeah they're gonna be envious so there, you have some envious people around you okay we have envy there is someone in either their life or your life who is jealous and envious of you and is trying to do everything in their power to see you fall um, and the connection fail okay so whoever this is like they know this person is coming towards you or somebody around you knows that there's a specific person approaching you so take that how it resonates, Aries. Somebody's jealous about this new manifestation. So we have escape, taking a breather, time to enjoy yourself. Okay, don't just exist. Yeah, I feel like this is something either you've been contemplating for a while or they have when it comes to coming towards you. Um, definitely there's an envious energy here but there was some form of betrayal so there's somebody around you or this person that either has already betrayed you or betrayed this person okay yeah you have somebody here that misses you I miss the look of intimacy in your eyes I want to devour you wanting you badly yeah and someone's going through some changes I'm in my cocoon, transformation, mer metamorphosis, entering new phase. We have shook. The information or the situation may leave you shook. Because somebody here, somebody must have caught someone in a lie. Someone is lying here. And maybe they feel like you're quite intuitive or you warned them about something or somebody that they know because someone thinks you're a witch. You know, that's kind of the power of the Queen of Wands as well, because the, she's very intuitive. Um, and she, you know, she'll say it. She'll be blunt with it. She or he. Okay, so someone thinks you're a witch. Um, but they're making the right choice. So I feel like somebody here predicted whoever this envious person is around you or this person. Whoever predicted that is whoever this person thinks is a witch here. They made the right choice. Pat yourself on the back. Meaning they must have cut somebody off. That's the person being blocked. Or you did. Okay. So take that how it resonates. And that person was lying. Because it says someone here definitely is the kind of person that that is jealous, envious, and tries everything in their power to see them fail or you fail and whatever connections come into their life or your life. So take that how it resonates. Yeah, this is computer love. So this is somebody crushing on you online 
and they want to talk to you. Computer love with Let's Video Chat. So somebody's blocking whoever that envious person is. Or this is you wanting to, you know, you blocking someone and wanting to talk to someone, video chat with someone here. We have mature woman and wealthy man. So whoever the wealthy man and whoever the mature woman is here, you take your pick here. All right, so definitely this person has gone or is going through that transformation with number 13 being there. Um, they could have Scorpio in their chart or you or you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Doesn't have to be six is someone that has gone through um, spiritual growth here. I feel as well. You could have moved somewhere as well recently or in in, in the last maybe six five to six years. Um, also, I just see a lot of spiritual growth um, and spiritual lessons that you have gone through, or this mature woman. Oh wow, we have bisexual. So somebody could have been dealing with someone that's bisexual here, questioning everything. Ah, making you look bad. That's that envious person. So I don't know who this person is that's either making you look bad or the person you're interested looking look bad. But like I said, is they're envious and they'll they'll do anything to ruin whatever you're trying to achieve here with anyone or anything you do. I guess yeah, somebody's dealing with a fuck boy, fuck girl. Okay, and that's making you look bad is with envious here and silenced. This is definitely a fuck boy, fuck girl energy that somebody here was dealing with. So, yeah, you got a twin flame coming. So we have playful. Twin flame. And whoever this envious person, that was all lust. Okay. And that's funny, it's falling under the queen of wands, but truthful. And, um, yeah, somebody here sees you as the truth, or you see someone in this way. So now somebody, I feel like somebody really had to learn a lesson here. Um, so they could have dealt with a Queen of Wands in reverse also here. It was very lustful with, I miss the look of intimacy in your eyes. This is this envious person. So clearly this person blocked this person out. They made a choice to move on. Okay. I feel like if someone thinks you're a witch, I feel it's because you somehow uncovered the truth for this person but they had they took a long time to see it for themselves that's what i'm picking up here for someone um and then we have only time will tell okay so someone what i'm guessing is it might take some time still with the knight of um pentacles because someone is taking some time to themselves and they're going through the transformation phase here so means, you know, they might reach out to you, but they're going to take their, you know, they're going to take it slow because they just finished dealing and being betrayed by someone here that's envious or you did. So take that how it resonates. So somebody was definitely trying to make somebody here look bad, if whoever they, this envious person is making them look like they're bisexual or they weren't interested in this they would never be interested in this person it, it was just all stupid okay there is a new connection here it is a manifestation um and maybe they were trying to make you look like you know you're dating tom dick and harry or something like that or tammy and and tammy dixie and harriet clearly that's someone projecting their own energy onto someone they probably don't even know very well or at all okay ten of cups is here this could also be someone that they could have a family with for some of you or they saw at some point as their ten of cups but clearly it is not with new love and ten of cups i feel like that's the new manifestation with somebody that's actually mature i don't feel like it's just an age maybe for some of you 
but I feel it's also in, in mature in life. Okay, you've been through a lot, you've learned a lot, and you're you're not playing these stupid games like this person here with the whole envy making people look bad when they're probably the one that is a queen of wands in reverse. Okay? But this person already knows what's up and they made a choice and they made the right choice. Um, let's see, what else? Yeah, and I'm hearing I heard it through the grapevine. The writing's on the wall. Also, my voice is very raspy right now. Um, what else do I want here? I want to know a little more about this person. Tell me about this. Yeah, definitely somebody is single here. Tell me about this new love for Aries. Yeah, they are desiring you. Okay. So, or you are desiring them. Yeah, they definitely blocked that envious person. Alright, we have a maybe here. So somebody's kind of unsure of how you feel, perhaps, here. Yeah, they are closing. They close out a cycle is what I'm getting here. Yeah, you're so incredibly attractive. Absolutely. Yeah. And we have the fool here. So they want they're gonna want to know if you will take a leap of faith with them. Um, but this is taking a little time here. Because they're they're going through some changes. Good changes though. Yeah, every day I'm more and more attracted to you. Is that even possible? Okay. They absolutely adore you. Again, this could be you or them. Um, and what is up with this liar here? Yeah, they could have pushed you away before because they were insecure here. Needs healing, change perception, and shadow work. Which is what they're going through right now. Okay? So maybe they didn't pursue you before because they were filled with insecurities and they were betrayed with whoever this other person is. Could have been a friend, could have been a relationship. Let's see. Who is this envious person? Making Aries look bad or making somebody here this person wants to go after look bad? Yeah, it's a karmic. The karmic has looked at your social media profile, spying, jealous, hating, tower readings, and emulating. So this person could have been emulating you. Uh, meanwhile, they, they were hating on you, talking shit about you, making you look bad, all kinds of ways. <laughs> yeah, and, they're, and they're, look at this. See? That's why the lust is there. They were a queen of wands in reverse. I cheated because I'm a player. That's the ten of swords. I'm a toxic, selfish lover, self-involved, and a taker. So definitely somebody was dealing... Your twin flame is from what I'm seeing. They were dealing with a karmic. Okay? Yeah, and this person has obsessive behavior. I'm completely obsessed and addicted to all that is you. But they got blocked. Access denied. All right, Aries, that's what I have for you. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates, somebody new approaching, whoever this is. Either you're approaching someone and you're going through some changes um, and you were dealing with a karmic or this is your, your twin flame that was dealing with all of this and they had to sort through the lies and deception here, okay? They might have just existed in this connection at some point, but they took it upon themselves to finally block this person, let it go, escape, and go through their transformation. They really admire you. Okay, this is someone that understands um, this connection now. Okay, either you or this person that's coming together here. It is new and it's computer love. Somebody that you will be video chatting at some point soon here. Um, maybe the next couple weeks or whenever they go through this, you know, healing and transformation from this betrayal. All right.
that's what I got for you, and I'll be doing Taurus next. So if you're Aries Taurus Cusper, or you have Taurus in your chart, or you're dealing with a Taurus, you're more than welcome to join me there. And if you're just feeling drawn to watch, that's perfectly fine too. All right? I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye. Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your two-week zodiac forecast this is for june 17th all the way through july 3rd sun moon rising venus or jupiter placements uh, these will not resonate for every taurus of course as these are general not personal energies could be interchangeable vice versa take it out resonates guys if it doesn't resonate please do not make it fit and these are 15 minutes or less unless of course there's a bigger message here for you then i'll spend a little more time so let's get into it, Taurus. What is happening? So we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. All right. We have fun times. Nice. Okay. This is good. And we have the miracle of nature. Thank your angels for helping me to reconnect through nature and fresh air. So some of you could be taking some time to yourself, time to take a breather, to reflect, um, to maybe have some fun in the sun. You know, in preparation for, for some sort of conversation that you're anticipating here. Okay. So you're getting in touch with yourself. You could be blossoming. We do have the lotus flower here. There could be some enlightenment going on in your life as well. You're ready to kind of shed off the weight also is what I'm getting. What Either physically or something emotionally, something that was burdensome, heavy. You're ready to, to really breathe new air into your lungs, new light. There could be some travel for some of you involved as well. Um, I feel like also this conversation might just set you free. Maybe it's something you've been thinking about for quite some time. And you just, um, it's like, it's time to just let it happen. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Some of you could have already had some heart-to-heart -heart conversations with specific people as well. Um, I feel like you're releasing something and just ready for some good times in your life. Maybe you've been through some heavy things here. So let's see here, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, with the Six of Swords, some of you, again, could be traveling or moving elsewhere you know uprooting yourself somewhere else you've been rooted in something for some time but like just like a seed planted in darkness it took a little time to grow and sprout and now you're starting to see you know what it is right sometimes we plant things and we forget what it what it was we planted right and it takes the only time we get to see what that seed was it's when it starts sprouting you can tell if it's actually a weed or something beneficial to your life and I feel like maybe that was the lesson here with the six of swords so you're moving on from tumultuous waters into calmer seas calmer waters a more peaceful side of life where you will have more good times more joy more energy in your life I feel here definitely some of you could be wanting to change the scenery and move somewhere else okay yeah you know, for some of you, you could have went through a self-sabotage moment, wearing a mask, maybe trying to live for others, and you encounter people that only deceived you, lied to you, um, you know, just kind of maybe stole from you. They weren't quite honest with you. So it's almost like getting to, getting to know yourself better through other people, but it was through some dark things. Like, you know, this person's wearing a black shirt. I feel like you had to go through your, your shadow to learn some lessons is what I'm seeing here. And maybe your own deceptive or evasive behaviors as well is what I'm picking up. We all have them, you know. It's just a matter of owning up to it and facing it, healing it, you know, and being true to ourselves as well. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Okay. You estate, you, you're escaping definitely some type of mental prison that you were in for some time okay you you have been wanting to escape this mental prison for some time this could have to do with 
all kinds of people in your life, decision, choices, you know, you were definitely caged in your head. You felt like you couldn't move because no, it was like any decision you made was like a domino effect to something else, okay? But you're escaping finally this mental cage is what I'm feeling. And, and if, if you haven't yet, that's a yearning that you have. And it all has to do with having some sort of conversation, whether it's bad or good, or, you know, maybe having conversations with multiple people. The truth shall set you free is what I'm getting here. Okay? This is, you know, self-imposed mental prison. You know? And it all has to do with really just being true. Setting up boundaries, being true to what it is we feel, instead of trying to make it look some other way and deceiving it, you know. Because sometimes we we want to bend the truth or we tell a little white lie that leads to more mental imprisonment. And it, it's just better to go straight out with it. That way you don't live in the Eight of Swords. Yeah, Ace of Wands. That's a new beginning that you're going after. All right. You could have a lot of passion for someone here. Okay. You will if you haven't had any passion for life or ambition, you will. This is a whole new beginning. Yeah, with the fool. So you got the torch. Spirit has handed you the torch to illuminate your own path to have a new beginning here. It's just a matter of taking that leap. Right? And going for it. You know, you hold the key to your own freedom. You hold the key to making your own choices and decisions. And for every action, there's a reaction. You know, there's a cause and effect to everything. So why not make it true to you, to who you are, to what you feel is best? Okay? You know, don't don't try to don't try to please everyone because not everyone is for you in the right way with the seven of swords here. You have to do what's right for you at the end of the day. Yeah, I mean, you're you're all in, yeah, seven of swords, nine of swords now. So something has been keeping you self-sabotaging, but it's a lack of decision is what I'm seeing here. A lack of having that tough conversation that nobody perhaps wants to have. That's what holds you back. So you yourself pretty much hold yourself back. Um... It could be in many different ways for all of you by not talking, having the conversation you know you need to have, by listening to naysayers, by living by others, by trying to please everyone else but yourself, by wearing a mask. I mean, it could be many things. Um, you're riddled with fear and anxiety. Also, if you're letting people deceive you into thinking certain things, that creates fear within you and it keeps you in a, in a level of stillness where you can't make any kinds of decisions or, or go any particular way but you have the wand you have the torch and you have a new beginning here this is like the portal is open with the zero here for you to walk through it and you have the torch to light your way but it's a matter of you know going through it I also can't help but see there's a Sun on his crotch here <laughs> You're very passionate about somebody here. With the, the Ace of Wands and the Sun in someone's crotch here. <laughs> okay? You hold, you're you working with all the elements you need to move forward. Alright. Earth. I don't see any water yet, but we'll see. That would be your intuition and your emotion. Right now, you're, you're passionate and ambitious enough to do something. But your mind, your logic could be holding you back yeah we have immaturity here they're currently not on your level and are too immature for you so either this is somebody you were dealing with or this is a level of immaturity within you so take it how it resonates guys it's different for everybody I don't want to accuse anyone of anything they're not because it's general and not personal there are many people watching so you got to place the energies where it fits okay you know, maybe somebody here doesn't consider themselves mature enough to go after what they want. Because maybe they just want to have a good time right now. 
they want to make bad choices and bad decisions you know that could be due to age or it could be due to just a level of um, you know a level of a way of thinking okay a, a specific mental confinement is what I'm getting here for somebody so we have uplifting despite the darkness or negativity that surrounds you they will try their best to uplift spirits and elevate your mood yeah I'm just feeling like you know somebody here is not quite dark but they're very much in their shadow and and the six of swords is coming out of this energy there could be someone that you feel maybe uplifts you at times but you kind of want to choke at some other times because they they're evasive they lie they they kind of confuse you mentally here yeah there's there it is there's the freedom I know I was feeling that energy so you want to escape whatever this is yeah there's a, there was a stranger around here be careful who you let in so whoever you let in really messed with your head here is what I'm seeing and I feel this is somebody new that you see or maybe you have seen for some time here because we have I saw you as a conquest now I see you as the love of my life I see you in a different light how could I have been so blind so either you or someone here sees you as the love of their life but they might have saw you as a good time before you know it was like damn I'd hit that I'd, I'd get with that I you know I'd have a good time with that but maybe we kind of ran from it because we we had some lessons to learn first off second off I don't know I just feel like you you went a different a whole another direction here and that's where you got mind fucked is what I'm getting so you all of a sudden you were in darkness it, it's almost like you had the torch you had the portal to walk through but then you somehow lost your torch fell into the into the deep where you could only grow from there and that, that was your only way out and that takes time right to sprout from seed to plant out from the ground and into the light that's what I'm getting here but I feel like that was you know that's how the spirit works that's how the divine matrix works right you can get lost in that matrix it takes a lot of skills to find your way through the divine matrix and you only learn that through lessons they're learning how people work against you it's almost like booby traps you know um, but you'll be able to discern people now okay yeah you're feeling the magnetic pull of wanting to be by someone's side here yearning for you I want to see you can we talk and yeah somebody could have even fell into some addictions here someone could be facing an addiction that that has a lot to do with your mental state of mind as well I'm almost feeling like someone came into your life and just really dragged you to your shadow and you lost your your way you were in the void in the darkness without your torch but you got your torch now okay hidden truth you're hiding from your true self there it is self-sabotage for you or this person like I said take it how it resonates it's like you were living a lie over here you ran away from something maybe because you didn't feel you deserved it or this person but you, you're doing a whole 360 you know it, it's it's not a 180 because 180 you're landing somewhere different you're landing back at the same point where you were but with a lesson learned is what I'm saying right back at the person you saw as a conquest and now you see as the love of your life but you almost had to go through all of this to understand it because you needed to understand yourself 
and the only way that happened was through almost like meeting your shadow aspect in someone else so that you can actually see your own mental state of mind and the decisions and choices that got you to where you were or where you have been for some time yeah we have I miss the light you brought into my life all that I am left with is darkness you also could have been the light for someone here that really dragged you to your shadow and they're gonna live in that shadow the stranger be careful who you let in they live in their shadow so you could have left somebody behind six of swords so some of you already had that hard conversation you needed to have and now you're ready for maybe perhaps another conversation with someone you see as the one here yeah because you cannot break free from this person you try to it doesn't matter what I do I feel like I cannot break free from you frustrated can't sleep not sure what to do which tells me there's a deeper connection here it's not something you can run away imagine trying to run away from your soul and then you have a soul connection to someone else and trying to run away from that now soul soul connections could be good or bad we also have twin flame connections so a soul connection that's bad unfortunately we can't run away from it because there's a lesson to be learned so you always be magnetically pulled till you finally discern this person and understand the level of darkness that exists and what the connection you know there's a certain level to where that connection can get and it becomes stagnant it doesn't progress it doesn't get better and that'll tell you you're with the wrong soulmate okay I'm worried you have someone else so you could be worried because of all the time that it took while you were going through a maze here that someone has somebody else here yeah we have good soulmate here we have community 39 could be significant here adding up to 12 and then we have number five a lot of challenges that you had here a lot of things that you were learning getting to know some of you could be you know you like to travel here you're very world world you know worldly traveled um, but I see maturity here mature man so enjoy this moment and unwind so definitely I feel like you're finally like seeing through all your all the things that you've been through because I do see freedom here and although there might still be some fear some uncertainty um, some anxiety you know I feel like you see the light at the end of the tunnel of wherever you are in yeah crushing on you too so you're crushing on each other you get all those little hearts on both of you we have its raining Benjamins so you could come into some sort of windfall okay we do have a new beginning that could be a new career path as well and we have acting single this could be the worry that you have that someone else you know someone has somebody else here we have nostalgia yeah this this was you definitely lost in your shadow and you know and, and lost in your mind yeah exactly what did I say some some situations just have an expiration date you were in a temporary situation you know sometimes we try to make things work with people and it just doesn't work yeah unavailable I feel you were unavailable for some time some of you might still be learning that lesson yeah I'm getting somber some of you feel somber some of you take um, prescription pills for your anxiety just be careful with that okay 
Um, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. I definitely feel like that's what you're doing. You are this person. But I'm feeling like this is definitely for a Taurus. You've been through a lot. Okay? You are hiding from your true self. You know, I, I see a lot of self-sabotage. And maybe you, you met somebody where you can kind of be more rebellious and free with, but it was very in a, in a very dark way. Let's see what else we got here. Um, what else do we have for Taurus here? Yeah, you're definitely going to, you, you want to converse with someone here. There, there will be a lot of chemistry here. Could be a coffee date, could be a cocktail date, appetizer date. There's definitely someone you're nostalgic about. And, you know, definitely is somebody that you saw as a conquest a long time ago is what I'm seeing. But maybe this person went through a transformation also along the way. And now you see them as the love of their life. Just like you had to go through your transformation. What else is happening here? I feel like they consume your thoughts. But it's because there is a connection here. And you were trying to run. You tried to run away from something that is very connected is what I'm seeing. It, you couldn't run away from your thoughts about this person yeah why must you tease me this way or like tease me like this damn yeah you're very attracted you're very passionate about someone it's it is a wish fulfillment okay on top of the world it's just the mountain you both had to climb to understand it even to you know the sun and the moon getting together here I will surely make it come true, make a wish, sooner than you think. Alright, we got two cards here. Yeah. Yeah, you were with a karmic. The karmic's worst nightmare is coming true, jealousy. But I know this too shall pass. I'm not sure, you know, what kind of virus that is, though. You, you could see the karmic as some sort of passing virus. <laughs> hey, you know, something came in and it was a virus and it's like, man, <laughs> time is against me. I'm dealing with crazy. Um, but this too shall pass. It's temporary. It was meant to be temporary. And yeah, you want to dance the night away with someone here? Yeah. You're absolutely stunning. This passion I feel for you is intoxicating. Definitely, I see it here. So you're not going to be able to get this person out of your mind because I feel there's a deeper bond here. It is a good soulmate. Uh, for some of you, it could be a twin flame. I just don't have that card in this deck. I will be upgrading this deck to um, put some, you know, some more things in it, I feel. So, and yeah, you could have talked to many people about this, your friends, about this type of connection you feel. Yeah, special gift. Okay, maybe that person has a special gift as well. Um, deep reflection. Yeah, you're definitely reflecting, I think, on everything here. Okay, I will always be here to protect you. This could be both of you. Could be very protective over each other when you come together. Yeah, I'm coming for you. And I can see you and I growing old together. If you can see that in someone, Taurus, and or this person, 
and it makes you happy like if there are other people trying to deceive you into thinking otherwise or trying to guide you away from somebody because I see a lot of deception here a lot of um, confusion you know if it makes you happy what does it matter what anyone else thinks don't hide from who you are okay be honest with yourself first and foremost that's the only way to truly be honest with anyone else right if not whatever you get into is kind of deceiving yourself it's a it's a it's a it's like living a lie so all right Taurus that's what I have wow I spent a long time here okay um I'll be doing Gemini next okay a lot of contemplating here a lot of inner understanding yeah for sure and a pending conversation here good connection coming but you know it's just a matter of where you want to take your life back to the darkness or you want to have better times in your life and feel more free when you're free with your with, with who you are truly um, that's up to you you got freedom of you know free choice just be careful with free choice sometimes takes you into um, things that you may not want to experience to like like whatever you did here okay um, all right guys I'll be doing what is it next Gemini 4646 on the clock um, so if you have that in your chart or you're dealing with a Gemini or you're just feeling drawn to it you're more than welcome to join me or if you're a Taurus Gemini cusper as well and I will see you guys there wish you the best bye bye Gemini welcome welcome to your two-week forecast okay this is for June 17th all the way through July 3rd Sun Moon rising Venus or Jupiter placements Gemini and of course these are general so not every Gemini will be going through this so remember that if it doesn't resonate please don't make it fit energies could be interchangeable meaning vice versa all right 15 minutes or less unless there's a bigger message here Gemini let's get to it Ooh, so we have true love 47 47 on the clock this is the romance of a lifetime nice a true gem beautiful and we have don't hate meditate <laughs> thank you angels for guiding me to love through meditation guiding you through love to meditation a lot of you have done a lot of inner work and now you're manifesting someone here to match that energy this is beautiful this is inner love self-love finding the gem within yourself to manifest that right back at you yeah wheel of fortune destiny is definitely playing a role here Gemini five of cups okay maybe after you know some things have happened in your life some disappointments now for some of you somebody could have missed out on you but you're gonna meet true love strength and confidence here with the strength card yeah I feel like you persevered through something tough as well the high priestess all right highly intuitive Mm. somebody also could be healing here okay eight of swords the mental prison six of pentacles the king of wands Leo Aries Sagittarius a lot of Leo energy here page of wands hmm. we have childlike they have a childlike innocence about them that will make you make it hard for you to stay 
mad or upset with them for too long. So we got a charmer here, definitely. Okay, they may seem come across very confident, but they might be immature here. Um, this is definitely someone you have a connection with. But I'm feeling like somebody missed out on this, to be honest. Yeah, no closure. It says no closure. They will leave you questioning and wondering what went wrong in this connection or why things ended with no explanation. Yeah, somebody was definitely in their ego and immature. So they're very charming. They know how to lure you in. But they cut you off. Somebody's sitting in regret now. You know, maybe their little game that they're used to playing on people backfired when it came to you, Gemini. You were actually a true love. You were a true gem here. And you, I feel like you honed into your own self-love. You're the high priestess. And some of you definitely moved on. There was no reciprocity here. We have Shadow Girl or Shadow Boy. This person is the embodiment of dark forces. Yeah, this person has a lot of traumas. Longing. I yearn for your touch, your scent, and your the, the very essence of you. Or the essence of you. Yeah. You're definitely... I feel like you're manifesting something new. But something is replaying here because this person can't let you go. Okay? They know you were a true gem. They messed it up by being immature and in their ego. This is somebody also that was attractive and used to getting attention. Um, they definitely had you in your head for a while. Your head, you know, it was like the hamster wheel. Um, I know when I see you, I'm going to have to fight the urge to rip your clothes off. Strong magnetic pull, divine passion, and thing like it. Yeah, they still yearn for you. But this relationship is not what you thought it would be. Karmic situation. Okay? Relationship. Feeling empty-handed and lessons. It's like you gave into the situation and you got no return. No return on your investment. But it did grow you. You will grow from the situation. Now, I'm also getting that if they chose someone else over you, yeah, they chose a copycat. Okay? Someone is mimicking everything you do. The choice is yours. Follow your intuition. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. And yeah, maybe for you it's time to let loose. Time to let your hair down and break free. I feel like that's what you did. They're obsessed with you. I think I'm obsessed with you. I wonder if you think of me. So they still wonder. Okay. They do see you in high honor. All right. And of course, they're concerned. They're very concerned that you're going to find true love in your life. Because unfortunately, they got with a, with a copy cat. They got with someone that was in their shadow. As they were. So I feel like they're getting karma here. Yeah. God's about to hand out some ass whoopings. So there it is. Yeah, this person's getting karma. Yeah. This person's definitely on your shit list. And, yeah, they were acting like the life of the party. Okay. Like they can get anyone they want. And you were blindsided. Because I feel like you felt the connection. You felt like this was true love. And, you know, it's like they left you lost and deserted with no closure. That's messed up. But God saw it, and they're getting their ass whooped. Yeah, and now they need your healing touch. Because you have self-love. They're in toxicity. They were toxic. Five of Cups with toxicity. You inspire this person. You're an inspiration. But they were disrespectful. And, yeah. 
and they're still thinking about you and they say look inside yourself examine what's causing you to feel this way they feel guilty and in regret because they it's almost like they replaced you with someone that either reminded them of you or I don't know why they replaced you with a shadow person that's a copycat that that makes no sense to me I mean clearly they were in their ego they thought they could do better they thought they could get someone better but no alright well that's the energy spirit is bringing out let's see what else is happening here I'm feeling drawn to the scoop deck. So let's see here. Yeah. It could have been meant to be. That's what it felt like here. This relationship's magical. It's meant to be. There was a lot of magic in the air. I feel like this could have been a soulmate. But there was addictions and toxicity. That's why God's here. Because this is something that was meant to be. And God saw what this person did to you. And that's why they're getting bad karma now. Yeah. So then this is what they resort to. Okay. Researching occult things. Because they know that they they can't get you any, any other way. They're on, your, they're, they're on your shit list. They, and this is how they're going to be. Oh, you're jumping to conclusions without all the right information. That's the kind of person that's going to make you feel guilty for leaving. They project. They play the victim. Now they resort to magic. Um, yeah. An evil eye. This person has a lot of hate in their heart. But it's because they know they did wrong. They know they miss you. They know they fell in love. But they chose their ego and someone else. So they didn't have to show you this. Yeah. This person is angry. Okay, they get in physical fights or, or altercations with other people. A physical altercation may break out because they're living in in fear of really losing you forever. They've already lost you. You made you made a choice to move forward. And you following your intuition. Yeah, relax, clear your mind. Something significant about this holiday. I just feel with the Halloween card is they live in darkness. They wear a mask. Okay? They pretend to be something they're not. And you're cleansing your space. They could have, yeah, they could have did something around Halloween. Um, some sort of spell work around that time. Yeah. Mirroring. Experiencing similar energies. Yeah, this is somebody that you triggered and that triggers you they're triggered also by you move it by you moving on so spirit is this new love with this true true you know this other choice the choice is yours here let's see what's going on here for Gemini so they long for you. They try to replace you. Yeah, this is how they feel. No matter where I am in this life, you're always with me. In my thoughts and in my heart, God, I love you. The problem is, you guys are polar opposites. So this was someone in their shadow. Okay, you could have felt for, um, this could be someone narcissistic as well. That happens a lot. You could be empathic here. could have been somebody you worked with as well or they want to work with you they would like to work with you lucky streak abundance you're hired work it out they would like to work it out they probably see that you're doing good for yourself right now yeah you have all the right tools to create miracles that's what they're seeing is what I'm and they're filled with regrets because they chose someone in their shadow a copycat 
almost feel like they try to find someone like you, but not working out. You can't duplicate true love. Yeah, there you go. Lust, I know I was a snake. Insane chemistry, inner childhood wounds, triggers, defense mechanism, the mirror effect, karmic soulmate lessons. So that's what this was. You you were brought together to basically um, kind of heal each other is what I'm seeing here. They were the catalyst to you going within yourself and having self-love. Unfortunately, this person was too much in their ego. They did not do the same. That's why God's handing out ass whoopings. So it's, it, you know, it could, it's, karmic soulmate connections, yes, they usually are hard lessons, but they're meant to teach you both something. But this person's very stubborn, very in their ego. And they could have a very limited mindset here with the Eight of Swords. It's like nothing else can penetrate, right? Except for what they, they believe is true or they believe in their life. And you add toxicity to that. And for, you know, addictions. And if they're narcissistic, that's not the kind of person that's really going to heal. A narcissist will always be a narcissist. No matter the therapy involved, that's a disorder that they will have. Um, you know? They chose someone on their level is what I'm seeing. Okay. And God's got something for that ass. They are being encouraged to go after you. Okay, by friends, family, co-workers, and spirit. But they are poison. This person is poison, sleeping with the enemy, red alert, hidden agendas, venomous snake, karmic. And yeah, they're too stuck on what their friends and family might say or think. I'm afraid of what my friends and family might say or think. Not sure if I have it in me to go after what I want and desire. Doubts, rethinking, fear. Yeah, this is someone that wears a mask. They're too afraid of judgment. Um, they work from their ego. And that's why God guided you to move forward and to end this cycle. It's not for you. That's when God knows this person is not going to change. So he he'll he will guide you somewhere else, someone else into your life. It's the end of the road. Cycle closed. It was a cycle. The talk board, frustrated relationship, no more transformation. We have celibacy and not feeling it. So some of you went through your transformation. You could be celibate at this time, or you have been for quite some time. Yeah, I think you have someone new here. You will have someone new here that sees that you are a true gem, and it will be true love, and it won't be this person. Um, let's see here. Anything new here for Gemini? Yeah, I feel like this is you. You went through a spiritual awakening, ascension, and enlightenment. Anything else, Spirit? Yeah, there you go. Spirit is guiding you towards your abundance. Yeah. I'm not even with you, and it worries me that someone else is courting you. And someone else will court you. Because spirit is guiding you toward it. And they are addicted to your essence. But spirit, this is where spirit is guiding you. To a vibrational match. Okay, that cycle is closed. God's handing out ass whoopings. They're on God's shit list also. Okay, for treating you the way they did. <laughs> so they're going to have to answer to him. So don't even worry about it. Okay, you're you're being um, guided to a vibrational match. Yeah, they self pleasure thinking of you, and they have tricks up their sleeve. Okay, so if you ever hear from that person, eh, just forget it. This person has tricks up their sleeves. Look out, there's a snake in the building. That's two cards of him being this or him or her being a snake. Okay. All right, Gemini, that's what I have for you. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates. Um, I'll be doing cancer next. Yeah.
So if you're a Gemini Cancer cusper, you're more than welcome to join me. Or if you're dealing with a Cancer or have that in your chart. Or if you're just feeling drawn to it. Uh, that as well. Alright. I wish you guys the best. And um, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Cancer, welcome. Welcome to your two-week Zodiac forecast for June 17th all the way through July 3rd. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter placements in your birth chart. Of course, Cancer, these are general, so not every Cancer will be going through this. So please don't make it fit if it doesn't resonate. Also, these could be vice versa, interchangeable, okay? Um, 15 minutes or less, of course, unless there's a bigger message, and I'll spend a little more time with you. Let's get to it, Cancer. All right, we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Okay, this could be, you know, baby mama drama, custody battle. Hold on one second. <coughs> I haven't been coughing, and I get to your reading, and it's like, ugh. All right. Yeah, I was going to say there could be some things you have to clear up, talk about, um, some truths I'm also hearing. Something needs to be said, heard, um, be done and over with. There could be some, like I said, custody battle or, or there could be new children involved, baby mama drama or baby daddy drama. We have clear your vibes, Archangel Metatron. Thank you, Metatron, for clearing my energy field. Okay. Yeah, so we're trying to clear ourselves from something here, or someone. We have Wallflower. You could be feeling a little introverted right now is what I'm seeing. Okay. And I feel like, you know, you've been wanting to come out of that energy here. Um, I see boredom as well. Something going on here. Yeah, we have the devil here. Oh, no. Not the devil. Ooh, with the tower. Ooh-wee. And the ace of wands. I do see a lot of passion here, though. Damn. Somebody made a baby with the devil? Yeah, that could be. Two of cups. All right. For some of you, this could be a bad soulmate someone's having a child with. I don't know. Let's see. Three of pentacles. Yeah, there's a, some sort of soul contract here. It could be a karmic soulmate. Um... But I see something, uh, it's being broken, okay, with the tower. Whatever this was, it's being broken. Yeah, there, there's something else here in the in the way here. There's definitely a third situation. That, that could be the children, or this could be connected to someone else here, because I do see the Ace of Wands, Two of Cups. Could be a new connection coming as well. Yeah, Jealousy, Five of Swords, Envy, wanting to win a situation at all costs arguments over someone else here eight of pentacles this could be somebody you work with or you try to work things out with yeah somebody is vengeful definitely okay they are not one to let go of grudges and will seek revenge anytime they feel wronged by you or in in the connection Ooh. so somebody feels they've been had but they're in the wrong because they're in the wrong energy, okay? They're in their shadow, they're vengeful, destructive, um, but there's somebody else here in the mix. So I feel there's a new contract here that somebody wants to work with. So you might want to work with someone else. You have passion for someone else, a lot of passion. Um, but somebody could have had a child with this person, this vengeful person. We have egocentric. This person is completely blocked off when it comes to seeing the perspective of others. The way they conduct themselves will be uh, biased according to their own um, point of view. Yeah. And with vengeful here, it doesn't matter if they're in the wrong. They feel they're, they're still going to feel like they've been wrong and they're still going to be vengeful. This is um, somebody that likes to dominate. Um, they like a love of power. They could be highly manipulative, mentally manipulative, and emotionally manipulative. This is the kind of person that, um, yeah, they don't take losing very easily. They're a sore loser. 
Yeah, you're manifesting something. Okay, manifestation mode downloads insight and intuition. I'm also feeling like you're 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 seeing through this person um, more now. Yeah, rebirth. Yeah, definitely somebody here. You're you're getting in tune with your own spirit um, and your spiritual gifts. Okay, you're using high discernment here with rebirth and this manifestation mode downloads insight and intuition. You're not the fool you once was. And if this is somebody you're in connection with that's dealing with a vengeful person, they're not the fool they once were. Yeah, we have someone from your past who will send a message, feeling nostalgic, missing you, thinking of you. So, wow. I feel like I'm under your magical spell. My heart is faithful to you. Seduction, love stone, starry eyed, mesmerized, God spell. So yeah, God is putting something together and somebody's pissed. So whether this is someone vengeful on your side or on their side, okay? Because I see someone from your past. That could be someone from your past that doesn't want to see you move on. Seeing through the fog, your vision is getting clearer. Absolutely. Your intuition is heightened. Uh, you definitely had some downloads here. Signs and symbolisms. Watch for the signs from the universe. Yep. You're being guided away from that person. Invest in a skill you love. You got skills. Use them. Some of you could be honing in on some new skill or you're more focused on, you know, your gifts, your spiritual gifts or your God-given gifts. You know, some of you could be art artistic here um, with either music, drawings, you know, art stuff like that mercury retrograde a blast from the past yeah somebody from the past also aside from whoever this vengeful person is could have reached out either to you or this person yeah message and we have faithful here I'm feeling like someone's faithful to you or they want to be faithful to you or you want to be faithful to someone yeah we have privileged lady yeah there's somebody that felt privileged in a situation like they were getting everything they wanted from someone and all of a sudden it's slipping away that's somebody that's getting vengeful here getting even we have another message here okay so somebody here is definitely communicating with someone from their past as well yeah your ego is gonna cost you mm -hmm. yeah spiritual and open-minded somebody here you're not the fool you once was if this is somebody in your past trying to come back and message you and try to convince you you know otherwise so you got somebody here that's bitter yeah and, and I feel like you're faithful and loyal or you were maybe perhaps to the situation and we have here to stay okay we have friendship we have public eye so some of you could be dealing with someone in the public eye or you could be in the public eye somehow some way um, could be online you know however that works for you Yep, this is what happens when you sleep with an ex. Because you're giving some, somebody here is giving somebody, that's like giving somebody false hope when you know something is over. So now this person feels vengeful because it's like they were getting all this attention from this person, then they broke up, and then somebody here is sleeping with the ex. I mean, that's going under the ace of wands. So now they're jealous about this new situation arising. Okay, with wondering eye here. So somebody's ego is going to cost them. I feel like somebody was bored and they called up an ex. Or an ex called them up and there you go. Okay. Let's see what else here. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose on the events to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Uh, so something here, somebody's about to get um, a tower moment. 
somebody decided to be friends with an ex, because we have friendship, but this person is very vengeful, very jealous person, and they're sleeping with their ex through, through Mercury retrograde. You know, that's when the exes come back. So that was recent. And uh, they have a wandering eye, meaning they're still they're looking at someone that they're meant to be with, right? Two of Cups. They're being guided towards that person. So they may not be the fool they once was. And they're seeing the, through the fog. This is how they feel. They feel like they're under your magical spell. My heart is faithful to you. So their heart is faithful to you. But in the meantime, they're sleeping with an ex. And this ex is crazy. I feel like you're loyal, you're spiritual and open-minded. Maybe you feel like this is the right connection for you, but it hasn't quite, you know, come together face to face. You guys haven't talked about this because there was an ex the whole time. Somebody broke up, but they're that friends with benefits situation now. And they could have a child with this person. That could be the issue here. But as long as you keep sleeping with this person, they're vengeful. They're just going to be popping out children to keep you stuck. All right? Maybe there's a child involved now and somebody doesn't even know about it. This is very complicated. Okay. Let's see what else is happening here. Surrounded by naysayers. Oh boy. And they are truly into you though. And I'm going to need you to take a leap of faith. Spirit. So spirit is either guiding you or, you or this person um, to follow their intuition here. They are seeing through the fog, but they're surrounded by naysayers. So this, And when I see friendship and the devil... And naysayers, these are not, with the Five of Swords, that's naysayers energy. These are not people that have their best interest at heart. Or have the right mind to give anyone any kind of guidance. Naysayers don't like to pursue things that are outside of their comfort zone. They keep you stuck. So this is, somebody here is too dependent on other people's opinions and points of views they need to find their own opinion yeah they feel like you're looking good keep it up or you feel like someone's looking good think outside the box absolutely naysayers don't think think outside the box I only see you tunnel vision yeah but they're, they're not pursuing it you're forced to be reckoned with so you could be intimidating for this person and they're trying to be you know make calculated moves here you know yeah you're nobody's plaything uh, yeah and that's what I feel people are doing with this person or you Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they called whatever this ex is to have some fun. Okay. I feel like Spirit is saying you can't stop this. So something here is definitely meant to be. Um, somebody's coming out of left field, and the more you resist, the more it persists. So somebody's definitely resisting this new beginning. Yeah, wearing a facade. A facade will never lead to true happiness. It will only lead to oppression. Absolutely. Especially when you're hanging out with naysayers. There it is. Pregnancy attempt. This is a vengeful person. They will try to keep this person stuck. You're the blessing I never expected. You stimulate my senses. And it's meant to be. But this person, spirit is trying to get off, get this person off their ass. They're stalling. And what that tells me is there's a level of toxicity they don't want to give up. 
okay? You're too good for this person is what I'm feeling. Or someone here is too good for you. So take it how it resonates. I know that sounds kind of harsh, but that's what I'm seeing here. Somebody's messing with their ex. They're surrounded by naysayers. Toxic people. People that live have a, a, a box mentality. This person is wearing a facade. They know where the gift is, but they are not getting off their ass to go get it. Because they're still having fun with their ex. So, if there's children involved, there's a pregnancy attempt, somebody here could definitely be pregnant. You're dealing with a vengeful person, a jealous person, someone they argue with all the time. Someone that I'm sure they don't want to bring into your life because there could be a pregnancy here. So they're in, in a way they're keeping you from the drama, but the tower is here. You can't avoid the tower. Like Spirit said, they can't stop this. So... Now you don't have to you don't, you or they they don't you know you don't have to choose each other. I just feel like somebody has a lot of growing up to do to be honest. Anything else here spirit? Choosing may yeah, you're crushing on each other. This person is, is, I mean, you know, maybe you're not the fool you once was. Yeah, jealousy. I'm telling you, there's a lot of jealousy here. This karmic that somebody here is dealing with, they're going to do whatever it takes to keep you stuck. And so are these naysayers. Yeah. I feel like this person is intimidated. Okay. They feel like they would be a nervous wreck around you. That's why they it's it's almost like they're staying in their comfort zone with somebody that treats them like shit. Maybe it's good sex. It, it it's still a friendship, you know, uh, sleeping with their ex, but Yeah, not now bad times. Yeah, they just know you guys would hit it off. So this is someone that you're both crushing on each other, but you don't really truly deeply know each other. I feel like, yeah, they have worries and doubts. That's the naysayers in their ear. That's what this creates. Honestly, yeah, if I told you how I felt, would the feelings be reciprocated? We already saw you're crushing on each other. This person has a lot of doubts because they have people in their ear creating doubts, creating fears, creating worries. This person depends on other people's opinions way too much because they wear a facade. They want to fit in. They, they, they don't have that backbone. Yeah, you guys have a deep connection. I know you visit me in the 5D. I can feel you. I feel like they feel that you're always here. You will be loyal because you're spiritual and open-minded and always here to stay just because you have a deep connection doesn't mean that person's always going to be here watching this and going to stay till you're ready to make a move no god will bring somebody else into your life if that's the case okay because spirit has been yeah exactly closing out a cycle i already see they closed it out but they keep going back and forth Looking at you sleeping with the ex. It's up to them. There's a pregnancy attempt, so. Yeah, yet yeah, they're protective over you, but not in a bad way. I, I, this, this is a kind of person that has become complacent in thinking that you're always going to be there. That's not always the case, darling. So, what's going to happen? end up happening it if they keep this up because the tower is here they're about to get shocked at some point with something whether it's oh, okay I'm pregnant by this psycho um, or you're gonna meet someone else and that's when they're gonna have a tower moment 
So they need to get ready to face a few tower moments here. They become complacent. And they're listening to the wrong people. That's their issue, their problem. Okay? That's what I got, Cancer. Hey, some people do that. And <laughs> then they end up, you know, they shoot themselves in the foot. Then they end up lost and deserted with no one in sight. Their friends leave them. All the naysayers leave them. They laugh at them. They talk about them behind their back. Then they, they, they have a baby from, you know, Miss Psycho, always arguing, conflicted, because what? They chose to wear a mask, you know, because they didn't want to be different and authentic. That would look too weird to be truly authentic to who you really are. And that's what happens. That's what I got, Cancer. I don't know how else to explain it. Okay? I have to give you the tea, the truth, and nothing but the truth the way I see it. We have turmoil here. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. There is turmoil. There's inner turmoil here. Because someone's not getting off the ass and making the right decision. They're trying to be the peacemaker amongst people that aren't peaceful. That's the problem. Good luck with that. Alright guys, I'll be doing um, Leo next. If you're a Cancer Leo Cusper... You're more than welcome to join me there if you have Leo or dealing with a Leo in your chart or, you know, dealing with a Leo um, or if you just feel drawn to it. All right, guys. <sighs> Take it out. Resonates. OK. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Leo, welcome. Welcome to your two week Zodiac forecast for June 17th all the way through July 3rd, guys. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter placements. Of course, Leo, these are general, so not everyone will resonate. All right. Energies can be interchangeable, so take it how it resonates, guys. And let's begin. Let's see. All right. We have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. All right. So this is where you veer off into your spiritual journey. Okay. Um, this is where you get to know yourself even more and awaken to your spiritual gifts. So your your relationships will be different as well. Friendships, family, love relationships. You know, this is where you start to look at things differently. So you guys could be already on that path. We have children here. All right. And love and accept yourself. Thank you, angels, for loving lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance yes absolutely so any relationships you had before um it's almost like they they just that's not what you're going to be attracted to anymore okay you're going to want something more spiritual more connected at a heart level okay because you learned how to accept yourself and love yourself yeah and many things to learn in this new journey with the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, going within. All right. Understanding more of yourself, gaining in that wisdom, spending time, you know, going through dark night of the soul or healing, reflecting, anything like that that benefits you uh, in your spiritual growth. Yeah, a lot of epiphanies also, tower moment. There's also a lot of um, things that you might leave behind, of course, on this journey. Friends, family, um, careers. You're, it's like your whole life is changing. Your whole life. Yeah, two of swords. What you couldn't see before, you're going to start to see. You're going to be making some tough choices that also might shock others. Okay? You know, you might decide to block a few people and all of a sudden they're like, whoa, whatever happened to Leo? What? All of a sudden, I don't see them online. I'm blocked, you know, deleted, you know, change your phone number, change your address. That's what happens when you go on a spiritual journey. Because that's where God puts you in this place of hermit for you to go through your change and reflection and ascension process. Um, and dark night of the soul, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, right? And, uh,. A lot of people start falling off the wayside because they no longer fit your new path. And I know that sounds 
kind of it, it sounds a little rough you know mean but if there are people that don't benefit you in a positive way and they're just toxic they don't add any value to your life this is where you're going to start getting rid of that dead weight getting rid of those types of people so that you make room for people that actually support your spiritual growth in your journey and add value to your life in a positive way that's just the way of you know the, the butterfly doesn't hang out with the caterpillars anymore it hangs out with other butterflies so that's that's the process yeah the universe which is the world okay some of you are done with the snakes all right, some of you will be going through that Kundalini awakening, or you have, and where you gain even more insight. Okay, if you see this, this looks like an eye. Okay, there's going to be your all seeing eye with the snake and Kundalini rising, opening that pe pineal gland, your third eye. Definitely. Where you're going to have, um, be aware of more of your spiritual gifts as well. Yeah, the hangman enlightenment okay the metamorphosis with the hermit Leo going through it four ones where you're gonna find stability no more will you build relationships on faulty grounds you will build solid foundations with others 11 11 okay seven of cups where you're gonna have other options come up come into your life what you couldn't see before, you know, you're going to be seeing through the clouds. Things are going to be shown to you as well. Okay. While you're going within. All right. I'm hearing a, you're going through a process of elimination. Okay. Um, there was some karma you were working on as well here. But you're about to enter good, some really good karma where things are going to slowly start trickling into your life that are stable. Solid friendships, solid career, solid foundations. Okay? Um, you're, you're honing in internally on, into something, tapping into something. Some of you are getting downloads these next couple weeks. You might experience some headaches. But there's something happening here for you guys internally, definitely. Yeah, we have nostalgia, good and bad. They've been heavily reminiscing on what on what was and missing all the good despite the bad. So you have somebody definitely thinking about you. I feel like this is somebody that was maybe you were opposites. You're you're your thoughts weren't in sync your beliefs weren't in sync and you know that could have been somebody you closed out a cycle with and learned a lesson here um, so you were definitely learning a karmic cycle through Saturn but now you're just I mean you're going you you've either been through a lot of changes or you're you're going through a lot of changes here internally spiritually and swept up this person is this person's intentions are to sweep you off your feet and make you feel for them fall for them hard and fast yeah with the hangman that's funny swept up and 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 caught up in their um their um could be the web or or their their net um and you are reflecting on that that's what i feel Okay, so you could have some nostalgia about that specific person or that specific path that you were on before. You know, there's many reflections where you go through a, an awakening, a spiritual initiation here. And yeah, darling, you are different. Absolutely. And that requires a different path. The black sheep. Yeah, treat yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be taking care of yourself, treating yourself differently with love, okay, with love and accept yourself. Yeah, this past person um, is definitely thinking about this, they have blind desire, the unknown, open to trying new things, intoxicating its soul fire. You were definitely very different for this person, but they were highly attracted to you. 
Um, but, you know, with the world here and the Page of Pentacles, I know that was not easy. There was something to learn there. Yeah. I can't lie to myself anymore. I'm thirsty for you, craving you, missing you, fiending, burning desire. Now, some of you, you could be uh, missing someone from your past right now. Yeah, missing piece. You're missing a major piece of the puzzle. I feel like you're going to get some sort of epiphany here. When it comes to maybe perhaps a twin flame or some sort of connection. Someone you see marriage with. Could be someone that has children or you have children. Yeah, there you go. You're hired. So there is something coming in here. Some of you started new careers as well. Yeah, your past life royalty. So whatever is coming into your life is definitely very stable, very solid. You're you're meant for something more, Leo, for sure. Yeah. Great rewards. It's a new day. Gratitude, grateful and joyful. You've really really done a 180 and turned your life around here. You opened my mind to new perspectives. There could be somebody here looking at you as well. Or you now you become kind of like the muse to someone in your past. This could be family members, friendships, or old relationships. Definitely there's some sort of desire here from somebody. So, yeah, we have virtual date. So, there is somebody thinking about you here. Maybe they want a virtual date with you. They want to get to know you better. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely big changes here. Some of you could be moving. Nine is closing out cycles as well. Expectations. Number 28. Maybe you're already expecting this person. So for some of you, maybe you're waiting on somebody going through all these changes. All right. But expect expect something. You, you This might be that opportunity here as well. Trust your, intu your intuition and get out of your head. So somebody here is trying to trust their intuition here. Yeah, because somebody was allowing the ego to get in the way of something beautiful. Okay. And now they're feeding for you. So yeah, somebody could be going through a divorce. So if that's not you, it's somebody here thinking about you. Yeah, they were with a stingy lover, selfish. Yeah, somebody here suffering in silence. Thinking about you. Yeah, somebody lied about you, Leo. So definitely somebody did you wrong here. Now they're suffering in silence. I feel like you've blocked that person. And they're very shocked. I feel like there's a lot of people shocked at your behavior right now. But you're doing what you need to do to love yourself more and to pursue your spiritual your own spiritual journey yeah this person is infatuated for sure yeah feeling emotional I feel you're expecting a major change in your life um, and someone new is what I'm seeing but somebody's very nostalgic over you Okay, so it says deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. Yeah, definitely. Um, so you may be faced with um, a choice is what I'm seeing. Mm. Uh, but for some of you... If you've already been through the changes here and you're meeting a twin flame and your twin flame is a little more behind, they're about to split that ways between their old belief system and their spiritual journey. Okay, because I see change, I see moving, um, and they were dealing with some sort of um, karmic cycle. And um, you change their mind and, you know, you, you open their mind to new perspectives. Okay. Um, it's a new day here and um, they could want to sweep you off your feet and trying to figure out how 
They could have lied about you because they were in some sort of karmic situation, so they kind of had to. Um, you are definitely different. They see that. They could be very infatuated with you. Um, they see that you love yourself. They ended up with a stingy lover. That's why divorce is here. And I feel like, you know, they were in their ego and they let that get in the way of something beautiful in the past is what I'm seeing. And they want to follow their intuition. Um, they think, they overthink definitely with get out of your head. They might want to give you an opportunity is what I'm seeing. Or someone here is moving because of a job. Okay. Um, let's see. And they could have been suffering in silence for quite some time because somebody here was married. Definitely there's children involved in this situation. I do feel you expect this person, so you know who they are. Um, let's see. What else is happening here, Spirit? Yeah, we have a Divine Masculine. Wow, there you go. So you, you guys never really touched. Divine Masculine, self-care, looking good, preparing for union, stability, healing, learning, growing, planning, planning, and delegating. With I fell in love without ever touching you. This love is unreal. It's one of a kind. They didn't touch you because they were married. So it's one of those things where maybe you met and they were already married. And you had to go your separate ways. Till they actually started to understand their own journey as well. Wow. And of course they had to lie about you because they were married. So their karmic got a hold of what was happening here somehow some way or that you know that you exist somehow some way because why else would that be here hmm. let's see here. yeah if you only knew what's coming surprise exciting news anticipation and manifestation that's the tower yeah some of you do have a past lover as well multiple offers coming in you got options who's it gonna be yeah that's what I was feeling some of you have a choice because somebody here is nostalgic and um, desiring you so what I'm feeling is before you went on your spiritual journey you met someone that was maybe the catalyst to put you on your spiritual path and that person is nostalgic over you yes you could have had an entanglement with some sort of snake here but you learned, you open your it opened your eyes um, to your self-acceptance and self-love so that you wouldn't get tangled up with any more snakes. And that person is still there. And somebody here wants to sweep you off your feet, but they've been lying um, to basically to whoever they were married to. But now they're having a divorce. You're getting a divorce. And coming towards you so you have two people trying to come at you yeah that's the somebody in your past wants your forgiveness can you forgive me genuine apology guilt regret please forgive me reaching out also that could be yeah so we have a masculine and a feminine you are a goddess beautiful inside and out I love everything that you are what, about, what else is going on here yeah, I would love the chance to speak with you, reaching out, message, text, email. Um, you know, if you have this person's number, I don't know. It says I might actually call. Or if they have your number. Yeah, and whoever you were with in the past was a player. They cheated because they were a player. They were toxic, selfish lovers, self-involved, and a taker. So that's the person nostalgic here as well. Yeah, and this is the karmic that your true divine masculine someone that fell in love without ever touching you here because they've been married this is the karmic that's that's how she got a hold of what's going on here the karmic has looked at your social media page spying jealous hating tarot readings and emulating 
So they've also gotten tarot readings to see what was happening in their relationship. So they know that this person has a divine counterpart, but they're selfish. They're stingy lover, whoever they were married to. Wow, so you have quite a few situations happening here. Okay, so your past person is suffering in silence. They must have did something to you that they want to genuinely apologize for. Um, maybe that was the person that lied about you as well. Um, that's why they want to apologize. So they talked a little crap about you. And, you know, because you are different, they probably talk crap about that as well. And maybe they were the ones that were missing the major piece to this puzzle. Okay? They probably called you crazy and all that because you're on a spiritual journey. People that don't understand their own spirit will talk shit about people that do. Because you simply understand your own spirit. And you'll be honing into things that most people don't talk about on your everyday life it, it's not chit chatter okay it doesn't have to do with what kind of beer do you drink oh what's your favorite team uh, you know it, it it's not just surface talk okay you're honing into a, a deeper level of yourself all right Leo that's what I see here so there is a connection that you feel they feel they but they are going through a divorce and you know maybe in the past they let their ego get in the way and they ended up marrying someone um, and not pursuing you instead um, but that's how these things work obviously they had some sort of lesson to learn okay and you already know the answer deep in your heart so do what feels right all right all right, guys, that's what I have for you, Leo. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates. I'll be doing Virgo next. So if you're Leo, Virgo, Cusper, you're more than welcome to join me. Or if you're dealing with a Virgo or have that in your chart. Or you simply just feel drawn to it. All right, I wish you the best. Bye-bye. Virgo, welcome back to your two-week forecast. This is for June 17th all the way through July 3rd. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, Virgo. Um, these are general, so not every Virgo will be going through this, of course. Okay, so take it out. Resonates. If it doesn't resonate, please do not make it fit. Energies could be interchangeable, vice versa. All right, so keep that in mind. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, we got unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So someone's getting kicked to the curb. Okay. What else do we have here? Yeah. Ooh, you got someone else in mind, Virgo. Triangle. Okay. And then we have count your blessings. Thank you, universe and angels, for the blessings in my life. Gratitude. All right. So, Virgo, you know, I feel like you're feeling quite confident, quite good. You know where you're going. You know where your heart is. And you want to take a chance on something new. You don't want unrequited love. I feel you. Yeah. True north with the chariot moving forward. Okay, you could be dealing with a cancer. But victory is yours. You're moving forward fast. Or somebody's coming towards you fast. Alright, they know where they're going now. Yeah, two of pentacles. Juggling. Nine of cups. Yeah, we're ready for that wish fulfillment. Yeah, somebody's coming fast, or you're going towards somebody fast. You know who you want. Ooh, justice. Okay, could be dealing with a Libra, but justice is yours. Yeah, somebody's about to court you, pursue you, go on this new love journey, Knight of Cups. This is definitely a charmer, or you're about to charm the pants off of somebody. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel we're leaving anything that's low vibrational, you know, codependent, or somebody that doesn't know how to love themselves, you know, kind of energy. So how can they love you? Yeah, we're, we're leaving that behind. Three of Wands. So you could be expecting this new 
um, situation with the Nine of Cups here. Wish fulfillment. It's a new day, a new horizon. Ah, yeah, I feel like uh, that you're waiting for someone new coming here, coming in here. You're getting ready. Yeah, there definitely will be victory. Okay? If someone recently had some sort of court thing going on, there is victory here. We have the two cards of victory, six of wands and the chariot. With justice. So definitely. And wish fulfillment. There's definitely going to be victory and love here. Yeah, yeah, you know what's coming. We have waiting. They are dragging their feet in this connection because they feel like you will wait around for them to get their act together. Oh, no. I don't like that. Because you know what happens when people get complacent and think that. I just went through that in, I, th I believe, cancer. So you could be dealing with a cancer. Or you have it in your chart. Because we have triangle, we have something else, two of pentacles, and unrequited. So, while somebody's thinking that they could just come in because they know whenever they want because they know you'll be waiting, you might just be waiting for something else. We have the triangle with the three of wands. So, somebody might get a little surprised because we do have the chariot, but we also have a knight of cups here. Okay? So somebody might get a shock. That's that's for somebody, not for everybody. Some of you, yes, you're waiting for someone and they feel like you will always be there. So maybe it's not so cut and dry. But for others of you, that situation has become unrequited and you're moving on. And someone else is coming in and now this person thinks that you've been waiting and you're going to wait forever and they're going to get a uh, smack in the face is what they're going to get. Yeah, because if they've been breadcrumbing with the Five of Pentacles, mm-hmm, I'm telling you, somebody's about to get a shock. You ain't waiting for shit. It says, you will be led on in this connection. They will leave you feeling like you're waiting and searching for more, or wanting and searching for more out of it than what they are willing to give. Look at that. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Who is this person? <laughs> Somebody thinks you're going to be waiting at, and they breadcrumb you with the Five of Pentacles. It's already unrequited. So somebody's living in some fantasy land that they think you're going to wait around. You're already interested in someone else that you know is coming. And it is a wish fulfillment. It's your justice for this a-hole that thinks you're going to be waiting around forever. <laughs> it's you. It's always been. So, you had a revelation about someone here. Yeah, I have a crush on you. Oh, snappity, snappity. Snappity, snappity. There it is, darling. I often find myself asking how on earth did I get so lucky. I finally found you. Meeting the one, overwhelmed with joy, happiness, not a coincidence. Oh, man, I feel like... You have someone else in mind, and that other person don't even know. <laughs> it's a divine gift. Travel date abundance, spoiling, showering you with gifts. Let's make it rain. You're about to be blessed with a different connection. And you know it, though. Yeah, whoever this other person is, you could have kicked them out before. They were toxic. Someone may be getting kicked out of the house. Toxic family, toxic family dynamic. Or they're getting kicked out. And now they will, all of a sudden they want to come to you. That could be it as well. And you're like, uh -uh. I ain't got feelings for you like that anymore. You ain't coming over here. I have a major crush. Somebody else. That is actually my wish fulfillment. Thank you. Yeah, you're an empath light worker. Spread your light. It's contagious. With talk is cheap. It's time for some action. And, yeah, and you didn't see no action and you didn't get no satisfaction here from Mr. Breadcrumber, Mr. and Mrs. Breadcrumber. And you're like, I got my eyes on someone else. That's what's up. Yeah, I'm missing you. I've tried reaching you. Excuses, excuses. Talk is cheap. Yep. They're going to come up with all kinds of excuses because they know they're going to be losing you. Yeah, the lovers is here. Forget it. 
Definitely a choice. Definitely. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, message of concern. Damn, Virgo. Yep, too little, too late. You found the ones. Yeah, well, they were too busy misjudging you. Spirit was aligning you to someone else. Yeah, where well, they were listening, okay, to the naysayers. It says, plow through the noise and the opinions of others. They misjudge you because of what other people said. I hate these kinds of people. These are the kind of people that listen to other people and they just take, they run with it. Okay? It's like, rumors are spread by fools, what is it? Um, and spread by, by ignorance. It's so stupid. And now, now, Virgo, they're ready to commit to the things that are within their heart. Hell no. Yeah, they thought you were you were easy. That you were sleeping around. Who are these people? Do they even know you? The people that were filling their head with shit? They misjudge you. And Spirit's got somebody else for you. And you already know who that is. <laughs> yeah, we have long term. That's what's coming in. And yeah, somebody here is casting spells. And this is a test. Yeah. There there's somebody here that's that was a cheater here. Or they were with a cheater that was casting spells. It's something like that. And we have here friendship. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and love. And your love life will dramatically improve. Yeah, I feel like you just want to be friends now. And uh, your love life is improving. Somebody misjudged you and said that you were sleeping around. Uh, because they listened to other people. And now they're ready to commit to the things that are within their heart. And you have someone else coming in. That you're crushing on. They could have been kicked out of some other situation. Or you have already kicked that person out before. I see the world here. With a divine gift. So for you, that situation is over. So I don't know. <laughs> this is crazy. But they're missing you. They've tried reaching you. So either you haven't answered the phone or they tried reaching you online somehow, some way. I don't know. Or they might be trying to reach out the next couple of weeks. But I feel like by the time you talk to this person, they're the ones that are going to get a message of concern because you're going to be with someone else here. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. For some of you, maybe you already started dating this new crush. But I see that coming in for all, all um, most of you. Damn, Virgo. You said I have options, darling. Too little, too late. Okay, let's see what else is happening here. For my Virgos. What else is happening for my Virgos? That's what happens when people think that you're just going to wait around forever. Alright, invest in the skill you love. You got skills, use them. Yeah, what kind of skills are these? With casting spells? I don't know. Hmm. Um, but maybe you guys, um, you know, you're honing in on your, your gifts here. Yeah, the heat is on. Undeniable chemistry and attraction here. Something's coming. I don't know what this is. But it's coming. You know what it is. Let's see. What do we got here? Surprises are on the horizon. Keep those arms open. Yes. It doesn't matter what I do. I feel like I can't break free from you. Frustrated. Can't sleep. Not sure what to do. 
that's the person that's going to get that message of concern. Unforgettables. They will never forget you. That's right. And someone is lying, the truth will be revealed to you. Uh, yeah, somebody was lying about you. Yeah, travel to a new destination. It's time to pack your bag. So some of you might be meeting this person up or somebody's traveling to her to you. Yeah, this wanted to cut here. Look at that. It's time to meet people from your soul tribe. Your vibe attracts your tribe. Great bonds, friendships, and connections on the horizon. So you, I feel you're meeting a high-level soulmate is what I'm getting here. Um, let's see here. Yeah. This person will be a very important part of your life. Protective, the good time, the good kind. Again, Virgo, the choice is yours. Follow your intuition. Ta. I think the choice is pretty easy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's what happens when you think people are just going to be sitting around waiting for you. Get a reality check. Oh. Yeah. Let's just see what we got here. I have shown my family and friends your pictures. Great feedback. Yeah, whatever you were in, better off as friends. Temporary connections. Okay. And yeah, because they were a player. So now they're showing their your pictures to friends and family. Keep your eyes peeled with that one. Yeah, you got somebody new here coming in. I feel it's a surprise though. So they could be the ones having a crush on you, but I about this new person coming in for Virgo again we got a lot of lies here being lied to suspicious yeah so somebody held back here because they were being lied to they misjudged you You know, for some of you, that could be the person coming in, but there's still somebody else here. Yeah, you open their mind to new perspectives. Something fell here. What was it? Uh, that was my arm. This other deck over here. Somebody try to keep this person away from you, maybe, also, what I'm seeing here. Yeah, if I asked you out, would you say yes? They held back because, ooh, yeah, no. That's the person you're like, nope. You're holding back. Because you know that this person lies with suspicion here. And, um, yeah, with someone is lying. And Mr. and Mrs. Casanova. Yeah, that's the temporary connection. You're, you're. So it's definitely a gift. It's it's a surprise. You got options, okay? And it's because you're in that energy of gratitude, you know. So this is a test. Um, if this person comes back, you already know what to do here, okay? Somebody has a crush on you. They could be someone very sought after with the Six of Wands, someone that people admire. Uh, that's your justice for this cheater. 
Okay. That's what I'm seeing. Um, that could have been the person that definitely misjudged you. Uh -huh. People were talking shit, though. But they also misjudged you. They're a cheater. They're a liar as well. You know, for some of you, they could have been the one spreading the damn lies. But, yeah, you're, you're, you're about to meet the one. So they think that you're going to always wait around for them, and they got another thing coming. All right, Virgo, that's what I got. All right, let me know in the comments if anybody resonates here. And I wish you the best. You're a light worker. Okay? And um, you, you got some good things coming. I wish I, I could see more. I want to know more. Let's see. Let me just get you. A few more cards. What's coming in for Virgo? Okay. Suspicious and getting caught. Somebody could be watching you. We have, yeah, I can see you and I growing old together. You are in every song I hear and in every song I play. So either you have the, um, like, talents or they do. Because I did see the card before of um, work on your skills or something like that. And then, yeah, I release what no longer serves me. That's you releasing this person. You, you don't want that person. I just feel like so all of a sudden they're going to be persistent with it. But there's someone else here. They could be in the public as well with that. Um, maybe they're a songwriter. Okay. You know. Maybe that's something they do for a living. Um, but that is, that's the gift coming. But be careful with this test with this other person. I don't think you're going to fall for it though. You already know. You know that game already. They're the ones that are going to get surprised that you're not going to want them anymore. Alright, Virgo. That's what I have. Alright. I wish you guys the best. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.